Hello everybody, and welcome to this very first Unity tutorial. So my goal of this tutorial is to help you learn the basics of Unity 5. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn the layouts, the projects, and the hierarchy, and also placing 3D objects and playing your game. So let's begin with layouts. The layout that I would recommend for a beginner at Unity would be a 2x3 layout. So with this 2x3 layout, we have our scene here, and this is the editor. So in this editor, we can place 3D objects and actually modify our game. Down here is the actual game scene. I would recommend hitting Maximize on Play, because when you play your game, like this, the game actually goes to full screen. You would not hit Maximize on Play when you want to look at stuff when you're actually playing your game, but we'll get to that later. Here is the hierarchy. Here we can create 3D objects, 2D objects, lights, audio, UI, particle systems, cameras, and also empty objects. We will get to all that in just a second. Here is your project folder. In File Explorer, you basically have a bunch of assets that make up your game. You can access these files here. We'll get to that later. Here is the inspector. When you access items in the project folder or items in the hierarchy folder, you can actually see the data and everything here, which is in the inspector. So now let's create a 3D object. So we'll go to hierarchy, create, 3D object, and let's create a plane. So we've created a plane. Oh, one more thing. One other way to create a 3D object would be to go to game object and then everything here is what you would see here. So there are two ways to actually create a game object. So here is a plane. So as we can see, the plane is in our editor. What we could do is we can select the hand tool to, to move our view up and down, left and right. We can select the move tool to move it up, down, back, forward, left and right. If we want to really modify the position and actually see where it is, we could go over here to the inspector and modify the position here. So we're going to set this to 0, 0, 0. That basically sets it to the exact center of the world. We can also modify its rotation. So, so this is the X rotation. And as you can see, we've rotated it by the x-axis and a plane is actually invisible from underneath so we'll have to look at it like this so we rotated it from the x-axis let's rotate it a bit on the y-axis and we'll rotate it a bit on the z-axis so now we have our own custom rotation but for now we'll set it to zero 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 and the scale we can modify the x scale and the Y scale. Well, the Y scale doesn't really work for a plane because a plane is a two-dimensional object. But we can also modify the Z scale. One other way to modify the scale is to select this. And we can just drag it and get our own scale. That also works for modifying our rotation. So we can select this wheel and modify the rotation as we wish. So let's set this all back to its default by hitting 0, 0, 0 on rotation and 1, 1, 1 for scale. One other way to set it to its default is to select this gear here and hit reset. And that moves everything back to its default position. Okay, cool. So we have created a plane and we learned how to transform it. Now let's create a different object. So go to Create, 3D Object, and this time, let's create a sphere. Now, hit the F key to zoom in to your sphere and rotate around it. So we can select F from any view, and then we'll zoom in to this object here. So since it's kind of inside the plane, we don't really want that. Let's select the Move tool and move it up. Okay, good. So we have moved the sphere above the plane. So this is how to modify basic objects using your editor. 
Now as you can see, if we hit the play button, you'll see that we can see our game in real time. So now, what we could do is, if we want to change our view here, we can always move the position of the camera. So select this, which is your main camera. Hit F to zoom into it. So this camera represents the view that you see down here. If we decide to move the camera, we could change the view up and down, just like you just saw. So let's give it a nice view. Well, just a different view. So let's move the camera over and then rotate it. Cool, now we have a different view. So let's move it up a bit and then let's rotate it down. There we go, so we have a much better view or just a different view. So that is how you organize your layout, create 3D objects and modify them, and look at them in the inspector, as well as playing your game. In the next video, we'll be going over how to move different objects. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later.